me take Joshua chapter 1 from verse 1 to 9. Joshua 1 from verse 1 to 9. Joshua was what we will call uh, the Bible calls him minister. But a minister in those days is not not federal government minister. A minister is his fellow who will wash your clothes, iron them. You know, in those days, when a big man wants to sleep, they have a pot that they put in the bedroom where he quiz himself at night. The minister is the one who will take the pot with all the smelly something, go and empty it and wash it clean. That's, that's the meaning of minister in those days. Not, <laughs> not the one who is coming today and they have to close the road. So one day now, God spoke and said, Joshua, my servant Moses is dead. The one who had been head of state for 40 years is dead. And you, carrier of chamber pot, you will now become head of state. <laughs> Read the passage very well. Joshua began to shake. What? You want to move me from messenger to head of state? It was badly shaken. That's why God had to say it three times. Be strong. Enough good courage. I'm the one talking to you. Because the, the, the promotion was so sudden and so great. The kind of promotion that will frighten you. Get ready for it in Jesus' name. Oh, consider Solomon. First King chapter 1 from verse 1 to 49. First King chapter 1 from verse 1 to 49. Bible tells us. Uh, David was old. But he wasn't dead yet. And then one of his sons said, hey, this man doesn't want to die or... Oh. I think I'm going to become king. If he's not going to die, I will just take the kingdom. So, he stayed a coup. And then the mother of Solomon was told, this is what's going on. You better go to your husband and tell him something is about to happen. If you don't move fast, the new king will wipe you out with your children. So the mother of Solomon went into the king and said, hey, darling husband, you promised me, and I've searched the scriptures. I didn't find where he promised him, promise her. Then she, she, she said, you promised me that my son will reign in your stead. Anyway, the story went on and on. Before you knew it, Solomon became king. <laughs> Wonderful day in Israel. Three kings. The original king. <laughs> and the one who decided to make himself king. And then the replacement for the king. Solomon didn't even know what was going on. He was a spoiled boy. He doesn't know much about right or left. That's why when he had a dream and God said, what do you want? He said, <laughs> Wisdom now. I'm a dollar. To take somebody who himself doesn't even know much about his right from his left and suddenly make him king. That is accelerated promotion. The kind of promotion you don't qualify for. When the Almighty God gives it to you suddenly, that is called accelerated promotion, and that's coming the way of somebody. 
don't forget god's word says that jesus speaking he said for the words that i speak unto you they are spirit and their life the word of the lord is ever living it has been tried seven times and found perfect i'd like you to hold on to god's word everything may fail the bible said the heavens and the earth may pass away but not one word from the mouth of god will fall to the ground without accomplishing its purpose the word of the lord is truly powerful it's truly true even through times and season it remains true the word of the lord is so strong so powerful so piercing like a sword so breaking like a hammer everything may fail i remind you again but the word of the lord will not fail and if you are a new viewer on this platform don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also click the notification bell so as to stay in touch with our recent uploads god bless you